tell you over there. Now, this is the Xbox Series X controller. This is the PS5 controller, and we are gonna connect them to your Mac. This is an M1 Mac. It doesn't have to be an M1 Mac. It can be any Mac. We're gonna connect them, and then we're gonna see if we can actually play games with these two controllers. We'll see how easy it is to connect them. They actually were able to be connected before, but they actually weren't working in games properly. Now this will work with, you know, PS4 controllers or, you know, just normal Xbox controllers, not, doesn't have to be a Series X or it doesn't have to be a PS5. They were sort of already working, but these are the new controllers, so Series X, PS5. So we'll start off first with the PlayStation. And with the PlayStation controller, what you wanna do is press the PlayStation button and this button up here, I don't know what that button's called, but you press these two together and it will put it in pairing mode, okay? So let's just do that, press those two together, hold. So we have to do this until this starts blinking blue around the trackpad there, this sort of trackpad thing here. So now once I've done that, I should be able to go into the settings here and I should be able to go to connect. And as you can see there, it says dual shock, something, whatever, blah, 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 connect. All right. So what happened there? I don't know. Now, by the way, this is Sony Dixon's PS5 controller. Yes, I got it from the man, Sony Dixon. I bought it off him. Let's try that again. Holding the PlayStation and that sort of button up there. Yes, it is in pair mode. I saw it go blue around there. We'll try to connect that and boom, it connected straight away. We can see the blue around there. You might not be able to see that, but this is connected. Now let's see if it works. Now, depending on the game, you may have to go in and, you know, set it up to actually use the controller. It says controller auto run in this Fortnite, so it should automatically detect that. Okay, so we do have PlayStation controller hooked up, but no, no dice there. Not working at all. I don't know why but it doesn't work PS5. Let's see if we can get the Xbox working. So with the Xbox, same sort of thing. Press the, that button. Now it's in pairing mode, as you can see. And let's see what happens here. All right, just looking for devices. Hopefully it should be um, connecting to this. And I guess this is it. Xbox, blah, 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 Bluetooth. Let's see if I can connect to it. There you go, Xbox wireless controller connected. Xbox connected now, yes, got a solid bar, so it's connected now. A bit of faffing about, I just pressed that top button again and I reconnected, but it is connected now with the Xbox Series X. So we had a fail with the PlayStation one. Will the Xbox work? Okay, so these things can connect as you've seen, but it's tripping out because it says there Y play, X change, but we're getting no connection there, but it does see the controller and the controller is actually connected. So I'll just see if there's another game where the controller will work or not. Yes, now I got it working, Wolf, and thanks to my main man, Sonny Dixon, for giving me this pro tip. Okay, so after a bit of faffing about, we got there, I got both of these controllers working, and it was as simple as going into Steam and going into the settings of Steam, going to the controller settings in Steam, and Wolf. Both of them work. It does think the Series X controller is just a normal Xbox One controller, but both PS5 and Xbox Series X work, so yeah you can get the controller working. What I know now, I've actually done a bit of research into it, is iOS 14.5 and macOS 11.3 will have native support for these controllers. So that means most of the games, any of the games will work. But currently, and I'm not sure every game in Steam will work, but certainly as you can see here, Rocket League works, no problems. I can control the interface. It's actually really responsive. Sometimes when you use a like Xbox controller in like PC games, it just, it's not calibrated properly it just feels weird compared to a console this one feels good so yeah catch you next one guys hope you learned something so anyway tally ho